Welcome to Success Talks with Rodney Salisbury. I hope you will support my sponsors who bring you this podcast absolutely free and with limited interruptions. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. I'll get started in just a second. The reviews are in. The book from voiceover superstar and coach Rodney Salisbury is another runaway hit. Readers from all over the world are raving about tongue twisters and vocal warm-ups. You can find this and his other titles at the top of the voiceover bestsellers list on Amazon. How to answer, what is your greatest strength? Your strengths say a lot about you as a candidate for a new job. A lot of you are graduating from college and you're looking for your first job. And a lot of you already have jobs and you're trying to get a new job. And when this happens, you need to be able to answer the question, what is your greatest strength? By asking you about your strengths, here's what the interviewer is looking for. The interviewer is the person that is going to hire you for this job. Number one, they want to know if you know your own strengths. Number two, they want to know if you're realistic. And number three, they want to know if your strengths are relevant for the job. So, obviously, to answer correctly, you need to be able to give them real-life, relevant examples of the strengths in action. You can claim you're the most hardworking person in the world and you're amazing at time management, but without providing an example, you might as well be making the whole thing up. So, when considering which strength to mention, think about when was the last time you used that strength. Basically, you want to be able to do this. You want to answer the questions as follows. State your strength. Provide an example of when you use this strength and how. And if you want to, this is optional. You can describe what kind of impact you made when you implemented this strength. And remember, the more specific your example is, the better. Make sure you also give some background and context if necessary and explain how and why you made the decisions you made when you implemented your strength. Hello everyone, this is Sean Daly for DailyVO.com. I want to tell you about one resource I highly recommend for vocal warm-ups because it takes out all of the guesswork and it was purpose-built with voiceover in mind. It's called Rodney Salisbury's Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups with Other Vocal Care Tips. How's that for a title? So in case you don't know, Rodney Salisbury is a top-tier talent and coach, motivational speaker, and author of several books on voice acting, including You Can Bank on Your Voice and Step Up to the Mic. The book is available in print and on Kindle, and you can find it at Amazon or Rodney's personal website, rodneysalisbury.com. You want to make sure your example paints you in a positive light. But also, you want to make sure that you're not showing off. You're not bragging. Make sure to be humble when talking about your strengths. Before you go in to talk to that interviewer, I think it's a good idea to think about your strengths and examples before you go to the interview. So what you do while you're at home getting ready, sit down, list what you think are your top three strengths, and come up with relevant examples. If you're applying for different types of positions, make sure that the strengths you're mentioning are relevant. For example, if you're applying for a role as a waiter, the restaurant manager won't care about your strength in creative ad design. So in other words, you need to be specific to what you are trying to get a job doing. And we'll be back after this message. Baby, come give me something. You can bank on your voice, second edition. Get your copy at Amazon.com. Get the audiobook on audible.com. You can bank on your voice, second edition. Get your copy today. And here are some other things to consider when you're going out looking for a job. Before you go, before you go before the interviewer, think about what you might say if they ask you about your creativity. Think about what you might say if they ask you about originality. Think about what you might say if they ask you, are you open-minded? Let them know if you are detail-oriented. And also, be sure to let them know that you are flexible and that you have a lot of versatility. It might be a good idea also to let them know that you have great leadership qualities. Graylin Brown, the new novel by Rodney Salisbury. It's the heartwarming story about a family in Detroit. The Motown sound was alive and well. The Philly soul sound 
was alive and well, and the big three automakers were making wonderful cars every day. Graylin Brown, the novel. Get your copy at Amazon.com or wherever books are sold. Tell them about your organization skills, about your communication skills, about your ability to persuade, about your ability to lead, teamwork, and let them know that you can be diplomatic if you have to. And always let them know that you are a very responsible person. And if you have examples of that, tell them about it. If the job you're trying to get is something in retail or the service industry, be sure to let them know that you are hardworking. Let them know you're motivated and let them know that you're good at multitasking, problem solving, and the most important thing, you're punctual. You will always get to your job on time. And we here at Success Talks are proud to bring you important information that will help you today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Portions of this podcast can be found online at Career Blog in an article titled How to Answer What is Your Greatest Strength, written on January 12th, 2023. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I urge you to listen to future podcasts where I will continue to try and make you better than before. My goal is to point you in a positive direction to success right here on Success Talks with me, Rodney Salisbury. Change my way.